Um, Chris has, has made some samples and we've had other people make some samples and we've been making a lot of uh, panel samples for, for that long. So we're hoping that it will be in print this fall. Um, I'm working with Landauer Publishing that's now owned by Fox Chapel. And we just got quilts back. So we're so excited. Um, we, they've been with the publisher. This one is um, made by Kat out in Colorado. And it is, art, the artist is Jocka. And what I think is pretty cool about this one is it's asymmetrical and it's um, Jane Sassaman fabric. You know, you can put cave with this, you can put batiks with this. So you can use printed fabrics with these batiks. There, there's no reason, a lot of people assume they wanna use batiks with it, that's okay, but know that that's a choice. And that this is, um, the, the, the asymmetrical part of the layout I think is really cool. This is Chris's, which is phenomenal, oh, absolutely wow. phenomenal. Mm. So this is Chris Finn, and what she did was she cut the panel. So she, the panel was fish, she took the fish, fused them on, and then also you can see some of the panel in the blocks. Mm -hmm. And if you look, it's, it's a, you know, there are some traditional blocks on there, but it's the cutting of the fish, which takes a very brave soul. Wow. So. That's a true piece of art. This one, um, this is put together by Liz Kettle. And this is in first time beating, beating basics. I don't like first time, but anyway, Liz Kettle's in Colorado. And this was done as a beading example in her, her, beading, class, her beading book. Mm -hmm. And if you just let the fabric talk to you, it'll say, oh, I need some thread. I need some beads. It'll tell you, it'll, it'll talk to you. That artist is Jocka also. This is Jocka, Chris Vin. This is hand stitching. So when I did bring some of my hand stitching threads in case you wanted to add that to the machine thread. So when you're working with a panel, you can have machine thread, you can have hand stitching, you have beading, you can, the sky's the limit. So you have to just decide how much embellishment you wanna add. was designed for the quilt sampler magazine that just came out that we were featured in in the spring um, and this was new for me because I used triangles on a roll I was like whoo this is cool so and but then I did the asymmetrical um, so that I didn't do the triangles all the way around I used them as part so I'm still kind of balanced with the, the pattern it also has two thread sizes, size 12 and size 50 thread. So size 12 thread is gonna be thicker and heavier, 50 is gonna be a little bit more we're used to, and then there's beading in the flowers. This is a quilt that I inherited from Trish, and this artist is Artha, and they did lots of beads. Very flashy. is a garment. Denise made this, who works with us here in the store. And this was a real stretch. She's kind of thinks of herself as a machine embroidery type person. And she beaded and hand stitched and machine stitched. She also block printed the inside. Um, and it's a, a, a truly fabulous, fabulous jacket. Um, and there's another panel here. So I don't know if you are Facebook friends with us, but um, we have another customer. Her name is Marie, and she's doing amazing jackets with her panel. Um, just a very simple pattern and doing that. This is also another one that I inherited from Trish. Mm -hmm. And 
it's Jaka. And again, she's, her strength was always piecing. She's a traditional piecing quilter. So that was where, and, and we hope to make this one into a kit. This is another Trish Hodge. So, did she cut? She cut that as hard. She, um, yes. Yeah, some of these these pieces were squares like this, and then and it was cut. So we sell these panels that have animals on them that are nine animals on a panel, and they're really nice as blocks, the center of blocks or keystones. So this one. Martha, you should, you'll appreciate this. Okay, so this one I was trying to duplicate or kind of use it as an inspiration. And you know that thing about measuring? Yeah, yeah well, mine's a lot bigger. <laughs> so, oh, wow. here's mine. <laughs> so I, I use my own ruler. <laughs> trying to go a little bit like that but that was my inspiration and this is what I came up with and these are Jaka panels also he is one of the he, he produces quite a bit of panels and this one we're going to kit too because it also has um, sarong in it so we've taken a sarong and, and cut it as well as Australian and batik this is some traditional Indonesian fabrics that it's hard to find. This is Marge, who now resides in Florida. Um, and she made a quilt and put it on top of a quilt. So if you look, this red is a complete piece that then she attached to this blue. A little bit of thread. If you look at the back, it's, it's, a, it's, you know, she just, on the red, on this blue, you can see where she echoed the wave and everything. This is another Trish. A little like more waving. Yes. Yeah. Stormancy. Yeah. Can we do that? We can try. Um, I, you know, again, I got kind of hooked on these triangles on a roll. So. <laughs> but these are pillows. So this will, you, you know, there's lots of things you can do with home deck as well. So those are... Chris worked on those. This artist does, we can ask for white backgrounds from him. Um, it, it's Bam Bam, and it, that's kind of unusual. Most of them have some type of colored background on them, but he does a lot with white. It's the same artist that Janet bought the black and white ones with. This is Liz, Liz is Liz Kettles. Um, this is a Bruce Lee panel that looks very Miro Kandinsky. And it's all hand stitched with tentaculum thread, and it is um, straight stitch. This one was an artist that I met at market, and she works with designing a boutique fabric company, and she created this. So she'll be included as well. So those are the samples that we have at this time and they're all to inspire you and give you options of how to work with your pants.